that yeah. being said, I don't know. Final Smash might be a little bit beyond the level of uh, a little bit beyond the level of customs. Uh, yeah. Not a much, is not as much counterplay to it. Is there even customs in this game? Um, is there? Customs? I don't know. Someone in the chat, let us know if there are customs. Uh, I, don't I don't think so because there's so many characters. Everyone feels like a custom character at some point. There's just so many. Of them. <laughs> that would have been a lot of custom moves. They would have yeah. All right, and we're opening it up. Another round. We're here at Wednesday Night Fights. We got CT Lux on the microphone here with 2GG's Korean, and we're having a, a great night. Uh, if you ever get the chance, come out and join us. We're moving into the game one between Exod and Roast Beef. Got a Mario versus Roy. Yep. Man, I, I swear I was just like at MSN the other night, and Exod was just like, I'm dropping Mario. And here he is playing Mario. That's what everyone says. You know, it's like the people that are like, I'm never coming back to the tournament. They're like, I'll see you next week. Kind of, kind of a scenario. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping Mario. I mean, wow. You know, when money's on the line or your tournament bracket's on the line, it's like, sometimes you just got to throw what you know, even if you don't want to anymore. Speaking of throwing what you know, he's playing the fireball game at neutral and explodes out with the forward air. Kind of caught. Gross beat by surprise. Wow, that did not work. <laughs> I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad for uh, Exxon. Yeah, I mean, he definitely could shield grab there, but I mean, I don't blame him for trying to go for that. The, the up tilt definitely a little bit confirmed there. Ooh, he almost gets that down tilt after that fireball. Man, that four side is going to connect, but is center stage here, but Rose Beef has their little ledge trap here. Wow, that fireball coming so quick. Yeah, yeah, open up his approach options back here in him off stage, and he still has him at disadvantage. That very, oh, good air dodge out of that. I almost got that Nair 1 set up. Yeah, the, the Nair 1 was pretty close to working, but since he was so high in the air, it didn't really, like, confirm. But, yeah, nonetheless, now we have Exod with the ledge trap, but wow, Rose Beef going to get back with that up to the ledge there. And you can see Exod, he's kind of farming out for the Smash for Classic, the uh, run up uh, reverse up Smash. Went for it again, but beaten out by the dash attack coming out from Rose Beef. Surprisingly, Roast Beef is the one that comes up with the first dog. Yeah, jumping right over that fireball, gonna slap it with the back air, but we're off stage here in the flood. Not gonna connect, Roast Beef getting back onto the ledge, but gets spotted right back out with the dash attack. There we go, he's putting on a little bit of a lead now. A lot of damage. Roast Beef's gonna try to figure out a way to kill. Maybe he's gonna try to throw out a back throw or a back air, there you go. And we're looking pretty close here coming into the second stock. Yeah, only 27% on the dog. But, I mean, Roast Beef cracking up more with that side B and these fireballs slowly making their way in. 15 damage just from fireballs. Ooh, with the jab confirmed. Yeah, it's like, why risk it in neutral if you're just going to get 15 damage from fireballs for free? Yeah. And he can condition a lot of stuff with fireballs as well. Uh oh But he got his double jump back. Was he able to get back to his ledge? Uh -oh. Unfortunate SD there. I was about to say, some high-level mind games right there. Uh, Got right. terrified for him by Exod, and he just said, I'm not done with this dog. And so Exod, here on the ledge. Okay, beautiful carry. Wow, almost gets the frame trap there, but not. Yeah, Jeff's not going to get punished. So far, Rose Beef hasn't taken any damage yet. Yeah, he's looking actually pretty clean outside of that miss. Yeah, then Miss Cube tied it back up. And he's, he's right back in there. Yeah, it's kind of felt like he's had all the momentum in this match. Oh, I don't know about that, but. Gonna take that down air after that up throw there. Uh oh, once again. Oh, double up air instead. Does not get the landing though. So he's coming down with an aggressive option, but Exox able to pick up the grab once again anyway. Yeah, after all that momentum, it's uh, yeah, Roast Beef is still battling himself into Oh my god. So close to getting that quarter after the flood. Good utilization from Exox. Directional air dodge is gonna be hit though. That's uh, yeah, that's the unfortunate part, you know, especially with the new air. New loose term. Uh, the air dodge mechanics in this game, sometimes people misjudge if they're actually going to grab the ledge when they get, you know, when they go for the air dodge recovery. And if that yeah. happens, it's, you know, it's a uh, curtain. It's <laughs> definitely the most common reason why people was the in tournament. And yeah, it just sucks, but that's the way it is. That, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Exod wanted to do a directional air dodge to the ledge there, but yeah. just misspaced it. Just a bad thing. Looks like he's running right back out. No change for Mario. I guess uh, despite you know, despite saying to the contrary, he's still Mario main at heart. Um, he looked so good opening up stock one and some of that stock three, but uh, on the flip side, Roast Beef, you know, battling it back on the second stock. Um, you know, pretty even. Is something burning? Yeah. Definitely smells like 
Something, Fire. something. <laughs> All right, uh, on the chat, pray for us because we smell something uh, burning. Uh, uh, speaking of burning, there goes that first stock being burned by the forward smash. Yeah. Fire uh, in the building. It's uh, it's Exxon Mario. He's still putting on damage. Look at that momentum, man. Yeah, putting on all that damage. <laughs> all right, we're no one knows what it is, and uh, speaking of not knowing what it is, uh, <laughs> Rosie Rosie don't know his uh, his stock count right yeah. now, man. He's, it's at one. Yeah, I'm just like a little fearful right now. <laughs> Just checking, you know, checking the perimeter. Yeah, uh, you know, as cool as eSports Arena is, it's not the newest building in the world. <laughs> we love the place, so we're telling you to come here every week, but uh, we'll keep an eye out on that. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. Just, just keep, keep, us, keep, in your, keep us in your thoughts, Chad. But we'll do our best. We're troopers. Oh, wow. Uh, no punish, though. I uh, went the wrong direction, unfortunately. Looking like me trying to find someone else's house that I don't really know where I'm going, making a wrong turn. Ooh, dash attack hit the right. The back air will connect and Exod with the three stock on Rose Beef. Wow. Yeah, it, looked a little, it looked like he was almost salty that uh, the first game went the way he did. He was like, let me uh, let me rebut what just happened. Dude. Let me let's, let, let, let me fix this. I will take care of it. And yeah, you know, just a very clean three stock. And now if you're Rose Beef, you kind of just got to be like, man, what just happened? Where am I? What is life right what now? What is life? This but guy I mean, was <laughs> it was just one game, you know. You, you can always bring it back game yeah. three. He's gonna be on his counter pick as well, so. And I feel like this game, like more so than the previous Smash games that we've been seeing, you know, between Brawl and uh, Smash Four, it's very, you know, momentum based. Uh, you know, early percentage people get on a roll. Sometimes it's very easy for the game to kind of get away from you, and uh, sometimes you just end up with some laughers like that. You gotta laugh it off. Yeah, it happens. So it looks like we're gonna have the same matchup here. We got the Mario versus the Roy. Two uh, very, very good first in the meta. I would say Roy having a little bit more results than Mario. Yeah, kind of on the upswing as a character goes. Uh, you know, people starting to figure out that side special is pretty crazy. <laughs> Cross Slash, man. It's crazy. Yeah, that move is so strong. Ooh, there's the parry, the up tilt, not gonna connect though. The cross up coming out from roast beef can help him a lot in that situation. Right? Playing it pretty even. Let's see if one of them is able to open each other up. Kind of have a feeling it, it just kind of feels like whoever gets the lead on this first stock is gonna be the one to ride the momentum home. It's so pivotal, and they're playing it so even. Just four percent separating them. Big hit though coming out from roast beef. Yes, there's a jab into the raw bear. Not quite enough, but really good damage here. Trying to get that roll, but really good weight from Exod. They're kind of breaking up the pacing just a little bit, and maybe try to slow some of the momentum down coming out from Rose Beef. Oh, wow, high fireball into the Nair there. Try to get the tech chase on the down smash, but did not connect. That would have been a really, really big play for Exod. Ooh, there's the landing up air, but getting drift into him with it. Right back to even, maybe a little advantage to uh, Rose Beef. This is a big opportunity, has him off stage and cornered. Look at that safe pressure as well. The Nair one space, the jab space. It, it, it all, like, it, it's dangerous because if he gets hit by any of those, he can die as well. So. But uh, that can make credit to Exxon, of course, uh, threading the needle and not getting out of that situation. No, there's that side special we were talking about. There's the pop coming out from Roy. Oh, yeah, such a strong move there. I'm actually surprised he didn't uh, get sent after. Okay, but the forward smash will return the favor there. Now we're at two stocks apiece. Yeah, it looked like he was a little far away. Maybe uh, hit the, uh, the you know, one of those dollar spots. But we're coming in pretty even once again. And of course, you know, that's uh, that's what we figured would happen right after the first game back and forth. The, the laughter of game two. We got a barn burner in game three, and both players doing everything they can desperately to stay in that winner's bracket. Oh, up throw confirmed there from Exo. That's going to cost him a lot here. Yeah, it went from an uh, advantage situation to a disadvantage situation so quickly. Yeah, exactly. The red trap back here, not going to connect here. Ooh, Exo almost picking up that grab, but Rosie not giving it to him. There's the up throw. Trying to get the reset. Ooh, gets a sour up here, but doesn't confirm anything off of it. Yeah, it looks like Rosie playing with a little bit more confidence. 
Okay, yep, the jab into the back here. Not gonna be the kill, but good damage. If he gets one of those right by the edge, that could be it here. No miss moves back here. But wow, I saw not a crazy conversion there. Maybe even a back throw in his first stage control might have been better. Yeah, especially if, he, if he's trying to play that hit for hit game, the positional game would probably would have been the better option in that scenario. Because he's playing a little, you know, a little tentative. He was, you know, earlier in the earlier in the set kind of playing a lot more aggressive right. with some confident up smash and things like that. But now he's kind of going into that poke game from Mario. Oh, so Almost close. a good fireball. Yeah, I feel like instead of that down tilt, maybe even a flood, you know, you, you got the fireball, you force them to go into that early up situation there. Last, or not last talk, but ooh, looks like Exalt will be on his last talk though. Rose Keep, not even gonna clutch that one out, but can Exalt fire back immediately. He doesn't want to let Rusty build any sort of lead. He's got a grab. He's pummeling him as many times as he can. Back there, not quite as uh, powerful as it used to be, unfortunately for him. Yeah. But that, that's, uh, that'll do the trick. Out smashing. We're dead even coming to the last stock. Let me know, chat. Who do you got? Exod, Rose Beef. Yeah, Rose Beef uh, definitely tried to hold on and do as much damage as he could, but only 18% here. And someone started getting, getting a few straight hits here, but that missed space. Wow, but the platform coming in so clutch for him. Just going back and forth at a very good parry. Tried to open him up, maybe got caught sleeping a little bit, and Roast Beef is all over Exxon. Just chipping life away. Every swing of his sword. Wow, very confident. Very confident. Got that jab, ran right through. I feel like if you just charged in place and sent it to the right, that, that could have been it, maybe. I think the uh, the uh, the run forward was enough to kind of you know pressure him to feel like he needed to air dodge him to scare him enough. One of the it's a the tunneling and sequencing, right? Just a oh, oh, oh man, almost got the wheels turning on that landing up air. Oh, back hit now can get back on stage. Goes sneaks right underneath the fireball there. Now Rosemi back on stage where his character is a big threat, but Exile with the dash forward smash is gonna clean it out 2-1 here against Rosemi. Last talk, last talk situations, always love to see it. That's the, it's when you know you're alive in this uh, Smash game, it's uh, feel your heart beating. Yeah. Get a little bit of a sweat after a long, uh, long set. And yeah, fun stuff. Yeah, Exile gonna clutch it out there. Very close. I mean,